Hey everybody, welcome back to Bite Size Talks. My name is Gary, aka Hempy. Of course, as always, we got Julian. Say what's up, man. Welcome back, everybody. Again, this is Ju. We're here today. We're gonna have an interesting topic, an interesting discussion about animals. And today, also joining us is Leona. Hey, what's up? <laughs> My name is Leona. I'm here, ready to kick it off with Bite Size Talks. What's today's episode? All right, so today, as inspired by a little video I saw on uh, Instagram, so it's uh, if you could get a thousand dollars pound that the animal weighs, what's the biggest animal you think you could kill with your bare hands? Okay, so if you kill a uh, hundred pound animal, you get a hundred grand. That's kind of the premise, right? But there's a couple rules one, one v one, it's just you against this animal. Uh, this thing is aggressive. It wants to fight you. It wants to fight back. And it's not like, oh, you just get to go up and like punch something in the back of the head. It's not expecting you. Like It's coming for you. <laughs> um, no weapons. No clothing. You're fighting this thing naked. Uh, and if you're like, oh, hey, I'll, I'll fight a thousand pound fish, a uh, shark, and the shark's going to be on land. Like I'll just wait. Like No, you have to fight it in its environment. So if it's an aquatic animal, fully aquatic, like you're in the water. If it's something like an alligator where it's land and water, you know, you're you're in that situation. If it's something that's strictly terrestrial, like uh, like a lion, you're in the savanna with it. So, so I have a quick little, I guess, change to that. Not change, but the video said, if it's an aquatic animal, it'll be a mix between land and water. Not just, not just water. Okay. So if it's a fish, even if it's a fish, yeah. like you'll still be... On land, but there'll be like water there, so it'll it'll be kind of yeah. both. I'm gonna say just water. Yeah, but no weapons. Not like you like. Yeah, no oh, weapons. Make a spear. But <laughs> I'll make right. sure I set the premise right before you give me shit for the animal that I pick. <laughs> yeah. All right. So before we get the Julian's bendy hat of a choice, <laughs> <laughs> La Leona, what, what's the what's the biggest animal you think you could take on? Okay, so originally I was going to say cat, but I'm really going for the money. So I'm going to pick panda. They don't have a natural environment. And I'm pretty sure if I just stand next to a cliff, it'll just fall over and die. I win! Uh, no. <laughs> now, I don't know. I've seen some documentaries where these pandas know quite a bit of kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no weapons. You said no weapons. <laughs> hey, this dog had a skadoosh. All right. <laughs> I would just throw some dumplings, some dumpling buns just down the cliff, and it'll go for it. So, I mean, I, I think a panda is very killable. I mean, you might get, like, China on your case about that. Uh, what's, the, what's, like, an average adult panda like, like, well, like, cause we have to see who's gonna come out, who, who's gonna get the biggest bag out of this thing. That's right? true. Let me see. Let, I'm, I'm fighting the largest panda ever. Largest <laughs> panda in the world ever recorded. Um, it's probably like 200 pounds. So the average weight is from 150 to 280 pounds. Yeah. We'll say, we'll say it's, a, it's a conquer. We'll say a 300 pounder. Yeah. And like, they, yeah. that's like, I mean. Again, this thing's aggressive. Like they, those things have claws, don't they? Yep. Yeah, they have claws. Weird. They have teeth. Like, but I am smarter than it. It is not trying to survive very well, so I think it's doing me justice. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that thing can fuck up some bamboo. I mean, I'll just <laughs> take the bamboo and I'll be like, "Look at the bamboo over this cliff." <laughs> we. No, but, but remember the thing: it wants to fight you. Like this thing is coming yeah. for you. Like. You, and you I'll just dodge, dodge next to a cliff. <laughs> Wait, on a real quick reference, how much do you weigh? 120. 120. <laughs> the fucking panda is 300 pounds. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm strong, okay? You see these muscles? You see this? You see this right here? I work out. <laughs> Did you see my thigh? Uh, I'll strangle uh, it. Yeah. I'll so snap it's neck with my thigh. Uh, I, I think I give the edge to the panda. I think it's just too big of an animal. <laughs> and it has, and it has, you like, under, like, even underestimate like, me. It's brain versus bronze. I mean, maybe, but like, 
just <laughs> but just your bare hands. I don't know. I I don't see it happening. What about in you my doing? mind? So the auto's coming out with three hundred thousand dollars out of this if she wins. I'm going for a walrus, and a walrus can weigh up to a thousand pounds. <laughs> no, come on, a walrus, adult male walrus. Yeah, or like four thousand pounds, two tons. Even better. Let's see. How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna do this? So there is no fucking way. You're killing Twenty-two hundred pounds. Two million. So walrus doesn't run that fast. First of all, a walrus is pretty fucking slow. I mean, it could probably run as fast as a human. But I think I can tire it out. I think I can tire it out. Get it again. Okay. Since the, since we're fighting in an environment that's both aquatic and land, I won't let it get on land. If it's a little okay. island, I just won't let it get on the island. You are not stopping that thing from getting onto the island. The, have you seen a walrus? And, 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 have you seen a walrus trying to get on, on yeah. an ice island? Yeah, they're like okay. yeah, they're struggling, yeah. bro. And, 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 an ice island is different from just an island. And think about it, Kevin. You're on this island with no shoes on. How long are you gonna be able to stand if you're if you put in an ice arena? Yeah. Right. So that means the water has to be freezing, if not very close to it. Yeah. So if you go in the water, you're fucked just instantly. Yeah. So you by you choosing an ice arena, this is like where Pokemon comes into play, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that that dude. Wait. If there's cliffs involved, dude, just fucking walk, stand in front of it. Why? What? What? What's a walrus doing on a cliff cover? I don't have no seen, idea what the cliffs. Have you not seen walruses falling off cliffs? It's happened. Yeah, but there's so much. It there's so happened. much blubber. Like, no, this is this is like a UFC. Dana White's putting together this fight. Okay. Yeah. Like it, it, it's you in a confined, like basketball court sized area. Like that's as big as this place gets. But there, there has to be some sort of water or something around there, because if it's a, a, a water, just just like the Pokemon battles, right? Like they had like water arenas and yeah, right. Like that that's that was basketball court sized thing for those fucking dog fights that they used to have on there. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I can have, <laughs> I, I could tire out a Warriors. And like start punching or something. I, I for sure think I can outrun a walrus. I think you're getting okay, raped. One, yeah, <laughs> dude. And, and those things have like a bone in its cock. Like that thing is <laughs> like you're gonna get it. Yeah, well, it, no, no, like it does to actually get. Yeah, it's called. I forget what it's called, but it's a special name for a bone. <laughs> but it actually has. I, I swear to God, look it up, Leona. Can you? Can you? Can you? They actually out jerk off with their feet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't have that much information. Hold on. Walrus. I mean, Billy, that might be your tactic. Make the thing fall in love with you. Oh, God. You're not going to survive that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called an autos bacillum. Yeah, but it's, I remember, like, somebody gave one to Joe Rogan, and, like, he thought it was, like, a walking stick. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, it looks like a yeah. stick. It's a big stick. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but yeah, look at that thing, Cabron. Jesus. It's going up your ass. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Cabron, why'd your eyes get bigger? <laughs> That's just the bone part. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, so, think, I think I could tire it out and then fuck it up. And it can't even see well. And it's, it's like it's terrible. Once you get in the water with this thing, though, it water. can out. It can outlast. <laughs> you're gonna have to at some point. Just like your ice is gonna melt. Yeah, you better hope there's a orca out there that's gonna yeah. eat it before it, it eats you. No, the, the premise was it, only ten minutes. No, there was no time cap. It was a fight. This is a death go, match. Go look at your video. And it says ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, so well, well, it's a Fortnite thing where the thing slowly gets smaller <laughs> now and smaller. Now you're adding rules to this, right? <laughs> That's the only thing that makes sense, right? Like, yeah. You have to have some confrontation with this thing, like, and even then, out. Uh, you are hoping this thing has a coronary, like, fucking heart attack. 
Like, yeah. There's no, there's you can't you can't wrap your arms around a walrus's neck and kill it. Like polar bears have a hard time taking those things down. <laughs> I, I think I could tire it out and fuck it up for sure. <laughs> there's no way. And if I don't, there's no way. There's no, there's no risk. Got to take a risk. Don't they usually like? It's a death match. Exactly. That's, you gotta take a that's risk. what you guys are getting. You to... <laughs> but don't they usually live on like a small rock? With like a body of water, like how far are you running? Uh, they just kind of like beach, beach on like this rock that's like or a piece of iceberg. Yeah, so that that was my point is I won't let it get on the rock. Just keep kicking it off, and then tire it out and drown it. Wait, you're the one who sent that video where he like jumps up and like stabs the boat, the back of I the boat. Yeah. I think he's going to just <laughs> jump up and stab you to yeah. death in one hit. Yeah. There's uh, no you it? It's like foot versus like giant, like giant walrus teeth. <laughs> I, I'm giving it a shot for two million dollars. <laughs> this is your foot we're talking about. You're not even wearing a shoe. <laughs> for two yeah. million dollars, I'll, I'll give it a shot at a walrus for sure. I I, I pray you survive. <laughs> I'll even give you the if you do it, I'll be I won't even be upset about losing. <laughs> what so, about you? What, what, what do you go against? I'm just gonna say for the record, both of you guys are dead. There's no way you're surviving <laughs> your fights. Uh, I thought about this for a good long time, and I know I could kill a full-grown Galapagos. Tortoise. Galapagos what? Tortoise. Those giant tortoises that weigh like 400, 500 pounds. Where, oh, in the water? Hard, yeah. Hard, that's, no, that's just cruel. No, 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 no. A tortoise, I, I'm finding it on land. It's terrestrial. All right, but I could kill a tortoise. I know I could. How? It's got a really sharp beak. Yeah. You just sit on top of it, but then when its little head comes out, you just freaking choke it to death. They're pretty fast. <laughs> it, will, it, will bite, it can bite a foot off, like with the bone. So we're bo both drinking off these animals to death, is what you're telling me. <laughs> I'm going for the neck, cabron. I don't know where you're starting. <laughs> it's a big neck. Move its neck and just bite your hand off. It's going to be like, ah. You, you get behind that thing. And then you just have to, like, just wait for it. To, you're on top of it. When that head comes out, you just grab it. You don't have claws, right? It's just going to, like. No, it, like it, it can't reach back. Like, it only, like, can, like, dig, like, forward. It has claws. Yeah, but really long But that thing can't like it. It can't scratch itself, right? Yeah, but you know, you're not exactly a small person, right? Like it's got a lot of surface yeah. area to claw it. Yeah, but like if you're behind. Like again, I'm gonna get on top of this thing and just wait for the head to pop out and get it. Like, How long is the tortoise neck? I think it could probably reach around and bite you. Oh, maybe actually. Look at that shit, dude. Yeah, it's a very vulnerable neck. That's why I'm choosing it. But it can go I like how you guys... It's totally bugging your hand off. I think it's going to bug your hand off for sure. That's a dinosaur. Like you guys, it has survived for a long you, time. Yeah, because there's no predators on that island. They used, and to it's keep never things, one. <laughs> they used to keep these things on pirate ships as food because they didn't have to feed them anything. They didn't need water. They would keep it there as a food staple. Like It's the easiest thing to freaking like deal with. It probably it has no predators because it killed everything. It's, it's angry. It's, it's not going to be playing nice with you, though. It's going to come at you and try and chomp at you. Yeah, it's not going to be like, hey, dude. Um, yeah, dude, look at that thing. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to stick my hand in there. Dude, right, but right, right there. Off your hand. I, I like eat that watermelon. Damn, it's scary. Yeah, I like how you guys think that's super dangerous. Right, and this this semi like warm blooded animal, maybe I don't know. I don't think it's exactly warm blooded, but I don't think it's fully cold blooded either. But I think I, I like how Julian thinks he's gonna be a walrus that has freaking uh, like ivory tusk on it. I can outrun the, wa the walrus. Out like... I mean, I would say you have better chances with the tortoise than the walrus. The walrus, man, I don't know, man. You you're just going for the money. I'm going for the money. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
Dude, like, and that, this thing, okay, and the other thing, the full-grown ones are like 200 years old. Yeah. It's, it's not exactly spry. It's not exactly <laughs> spry. Neither are you, Cameron. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's why I chose it, Cameron. That's why I chose this, because I'm not going to like be like Joe Rogan, where I'm like, oh, hey, like I can just get an elk and like break its leg in a leg lock. Um <laughs> I mean, I, I wonder how, how many pounds per square inch you would need to strangle that neck, though, because it looks like a really tough neck. No, for somebody who wanted to fight a bear, <laughs> you're getting awfully mathy <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, but you know that pandas are actually, like, the reason why they're so bad at surviving is because at some point in their evolutionary stage, they lost the ability to taste umame which gives you the, the desire to eat meat. So that's why they only eat bamboo. But since bamboo is not their natural diet, they're just constantly starving to death. So they're not getting enough fuel for their brain. That's why they're so stupid and they can't survive. <laughs> well, so I'm well, fighting yeah. a retarded bear. <laughs> which is probably the scariest thing possible. <laughs> I mean, by, by a lot of comedic standards, that bear is at least five times stronger than the average bear. No, but he doesn't have enough nutrients in his body. He's just malnutrition. He's just literally you know, fluffy. I, I did have a pass to the San Diego Zoo, and so I'm pretty knowledgeable about these sort of things. And they actually do eat meat. They just don't have – they're not, like, successful hunters. But they will feed on, like, tuna and stuff. Uh, so they do eat meat. They're just – they they got used to like they just went vegan, just vegged out and like that's what like kind of yeah. killed them. Yeah, exactly. Just, all, all, but that, that's not the that's not their normal diet. They're just I mean, how much nutrients does bamboo have? It's like mostly just fiber. Like if if yeah. I only ate sticks, yeah. and I normally didn't eat sticks before, like how how much power do you think I have? Wait, pull up a, like a picture of an adult male panda. So we could look at the teeth and the claws on this thing that we shred <laughs> all this naturally strong fiber apart at will. How much power do you need to to like break a piece of stick? A piece of bamboo? Bamboo is like some of the natural, the strongest natural fibers in the world. Coming from a bioprocess engineer. Like on on a weight basis, so bamboo. Lost right now. What the fuck you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't see too much aggression in any of these videos. He's just kind of like, hmm, there. Okay, you're missing. There's a huge part of the prompt where it's like this thing's aggressive. Yeah, but how long can his aggression last? Like he's gonna run out of energy, like mad quick. <laughs> Dude, look at those teeth. Until... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have no, a no, dog no. mouth. <laughs> like, it's, like it's a bear. It's yeah, a bear. There's no canines there. What about look at panda claws? Wait. Uh, I think I froze again. No, you're good. Okay. Like a red panda, like because I, 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 like if I'm being honest, I think we'd all have a hard time with like a raccoon. Like, like look at the claws on that thing. It's, it's hands on you at all. You're fucked. I feel like I'd be more scared of the red panda than the actual panda. <clears throat> okay, a red panda at most is like what twenty pounds. Yeah. I, just I mean, just think about it. The pandas they don't have they can't survive in nature on their own. Like, what what am I even really fighting? There's no competition here. I still. Yeah, I, 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 walrus, honestly. <laughs> I think if I just took the bamboo away, it would just starve to death. There is no way, you guys, like. But I, I have a better chance at the panda than he does with the walrus. You gotta admit to that. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, because a walrus is just an absolute like death wish. <laughs> In so many ways. I, I, was, yeah. I was looking up like the heaviest animals to to fight. I was like, I can't take on a fucking elephant. Like, fucking giraffe might fuck me up. <laughs> But oh like, yeah, have you ever seen giraffes yeah. fight? Yeah, those things like, are kick hard. They just like swing their necks at each other. They fight with their necks. Yeah, Dude, was, they kill crazy. they kill lions regularly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. like, I've been near uh well, I've rode horse uh horse before and like if that thing kicks me, I'm dead. I'm not fighting a fucking giraffe. Fuck that. 
<laughs> they probably use like lions how... as golf balls. <laughs> like, I like how you you actually considered like anything on the African savanna. Yeah, I thought about it. It's like maybe like, an elephant. Like if I can fucking start poking at his eyes nah. or something. <laughs> There, there's no, there's no way. Like you know, <laughs> that's ten feet tall. Yeah, dude, the climb like, that should be hard. That's why I didn't go with an elephant. <laughs> God, it wouldn't even see you. It would kill you. We wouldn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the fact, the fact that that was like you even entertained that for a second. Like people have a hard time killing them with a gun. <laughs> like, with, 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 a, with, with not just a normal gun, but a gun that's like referred to as like an elephant gun. It's like a super gun. Yeah, dude, I thought about it. I was like, yeah, there's no fucking way I'm even making a dent yeah. on this thing. But hey, yeah, so you're like, oh, I, I know, I'll, I'll go to a water elephant. That, that's essentially. <laughs> but it's slow. Though. It doesn't run fast. Cool. I mean, if you scare it, it'll it might it it feed off a cliff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like fucking chicken to fall off a cliff. I don't know where you guys like think it, this thing is. It's on like you're on a very low topography like fighting arena. Yeah, but I've seen horses falling off cliffs. Okay, yeah. even if it's a small cliff, that that panda will fall off. It's gonna have like a really hard time getting back up. Have you seen pandas like rolling off things? They're just they're not very good. They're not very good at climbing. So uh, here, yes. here, here's what I was thinking: just fucking kicking it off the fucking cliff. You're gonna break your foot trying to kick a walrus off a cliff, Wade. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think if you try to kick it in, in the soft spot, your your foot's just gonna get lost in the blubber. It might. You might end up bouncing off of it and falling off the cliff yourself. Uh, I'm trying. I'm for sure trying. It's two million dollars. <laughs> okay, but again, you, you're assuming this thing is on a cliff to begin with. It's gonna chase me anyways. But you're on a basketball court-sized arena. You never specified. Like, it's, it's a, it was in the video. You said natural habitat. Yeah, you said they're natural habitats. I was like, yeah, they fall off cliffs all the time. Okay, we're talking about, like, are you going to beat this thing in its natural habitat? Those <laughs> things live in, like, the frozen Arctic Ocean. Yeah. And you're naked. You're gonna die. Yeah, you're going to die in 10 minutes of hypothermia. Like, that's, shut the fuck that's up. That's all I need, 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get your two million dollars and you're gonna die. But if I just like pop in and then pop out, yeah, it'll be in and out quick, five minutes. <laughs> oh, bro, you're not trying to get it pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, you 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 are like uh, the fact that you even like. Um, I don't know if we could put this out there just for for your own sake, mm -hmm. Cabrón, of being an engineer that works. Think that you could. Uh... Oh, I'm an engineer. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think you guys, the sheer lack of homework is kind of insulting on this. Yeah, the thing you, again, bears, walruses. Who are you guys kidding? It's not a real bear. Come on, it's like it's like pathetic to even consider a panda a real bear. I'll I'll give you that amongst the bears, it's probably the the one you're most likely to survive. If it if it, if this thing was wanting to kill you, but that being said, like you're still toast. So I don't know what in the comments. Leave the animal that that you think you could kill. Tell these two idiots why they're wrong, and how there's no way they're gonna be able to kill a walrus and a panda. What you got for them, Julian? If you're trying to give it a shot at that money and, and kill that elephant, shit, I, I'd be with you right there. Honestly, I'd go for the money too. Not elephant. Now, now it's now he thinks he can kill an elephant. <laughs> if you're going, I'd for love money, to hear how someone could do it. Yeah, if you're going for the risk, fuck it, I do it. What about you, Leon? I got any comments for them? I mean, I still think I won. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me if you think I won. I want to hear it. <laughs> I mean, leave it to a Russian to want to fight a bear. Way to break stereotypes there. Just fight right, the dumbest guys, well, one. <laughs> give us a like and a follow if you uh, like the videos. We'll hopefully be coming out with these a little bit more regularly now. But, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy.
Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. <laughs>